Hello, hello, it's Shara. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, turn on my post notifications, and follow me on Instagram. In today's video, I'm going to swatch some liquid lipsticks, review them, and just share my thoughts with you guys. Some of them I really, really like, and some of them I will probably not purchase again. So yeah, let's just get started. Whenever I talk about liquid lipsticks, physician formulas, healthy lips, velvet finish, this formula is definitely my favorite. It's matte finish and it's super comfortable on the lips. It looks really good on the lips. I've already talked about them in my favorites video, so if you're interested, I will link it over here. This is my favorite one. It's in the shade All Natural Nude, and this one is in the shade Coral Minerals. These two are my favorite colors. They have like more like bright red and stuff like that. I don't really go for. This is not transfer proof. So if you're looking for like kiss proof, this is not, but I really love this formula. Hands down my favorite formula a liquid lipstick can have. Um, I don't really care for transfer proof. I found another formula that I really, really like is L'Oreal Signature Lightweight Matte Color Ink. 420A, it's called Eye Explore. They have like all like eye something like I create, I empower, I achieve. I kind of like that. I think it's very creative. And this formula feels really comfortable too. It's really special because I feel like it's water-based, which I've never experienced in um, a liquid lipstick. I thought it's really cool. This is the applicator compared to Physicians Formulas. It's pretty similar. They're both like really easy to apply. The L'Oreal one is just really special because I feel like it's water-based. When you apply it on your lips, you would know what I'm talking about. It's super watery, but the color payoff is there. So this is the swatch right here. I don't know if you can tell like water-based, but the color is there. is something that I've never felt before with a liquid lipstick. This is just with a very light layer on. On my hand looks a lot darker, a lot like brownish tone in it. Normally when I wear a liquid lipstick, I would not put any lips foundation on just because some of the matte liquid lipsticks are pretty dry. So like with the lip foundation, it's just not going to be comfortable when you wear it. It's really buildable. I can also put a second layer on and you will see a difference. So now it's a lot darker and this is not transfer proof, so it will transfer. I don't really care whether the liquid lipsticks would transfer or not because I like lipsticks more. All of the lipsticks will transfer anyway. Looks like your lips are really hydrated. It feels really lightweight. You don't really feel like anything is on your lips. So does this one, which I'm going to apply some lip balm. Next one, we have NARS. This is in the shade Save the Queen. What a beautiful name. <laughs> Honestly, this applicator is not my favorite. So this is the swatch. With this one, I really like the color, but sometimes it can get really dry if you use it in the winter. At least I have to apply lip balm beforehand or else I can see my lips line like really easily. I will insert a photo when I wear this. It looks a lot brighter on the camera. In real life, it looks more purplish. Let me see if I can turn the brightness down. This is more like a... So yeah, this one, I I would say I would still get it just because I really love the color and they have like all different kind of colors. They all look beautiful. So even though like it could be dry sometimes during the winter, I would still like make the sacrifice and get it because I really like the color. So this is a yes. The next one we have here is from Smashbox. Um, this is in the color Babe Alert. So this is the applicator, it's a good one. Pretty similar as the Physician's Formula and the L'Oreal one. Here's the swatch. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's super dry. I haven't been using this for a while. And 
like it feels like it's almost like completely dried out like it really feel like inside is dried i got these two around the same time and this one is still like watery at least like this one is still normal it's super drying you can see your lines this formula is my least favorite so far i really like the color will i purchase from this line again probably not unless like there's a pretty color that really just gets my attention and i would probably give it another try right now i don't think i would get another one i really love the color though it's pretty much transfer proof i can see a tiny little bit but pretty much transfer proof and this one too and then we have color pop liquor lipsticks my favorite formula is ultra satin lip and this one i like this one's packaging a whole lot it's like gold here instead of silver and the words are like gold too this one is their ultra matte lip their ultra matte lip is transfer proof but it's a little bit drier than the ultra satin lips that's why i like this one more i don't like anything that's like too drying on my lips my favorite two colors are magic wand oh the applicator looks like this magic wand and this one is echo park these two are my favorite colors pretty similar i would say this one is more like nude and this one is more like pink it's kind of like these two i feel like one is like more nude and one is more pink so these are the swatches i will try echo park very creamy and the trick about this is you gotta wait a little bit to let it dry but once it's dry you're good to go this is echo park it's like a pinky nude. It's really pretty. I've had this for a long time. The ColourPop logo is all like scratched up. It's very nice. It feels comfortable. Not my favorite formula because I can feel like something on my lips. Whereas these two, I just don't feel anything on my lips. It feels lightweight. This one feels heavier, but it's not bad at all. Sometimes I mix the two together. Last one, we have Opera's Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I don't even know what this color is because it doesn't say on here, which is a problem, you know? Like, why Why do you like put it anywhere? I feel like this is the first time I came across something that doesn't have the color's name on it. I didn't purchase this. I got BoxyCharm before and this one came with it. Here's the swatch. It has a purple tone in it and what i've realized so far is that whenever the lipstick has a purple tone to it i look good on the camera or in my pictures but in person i don't really like it <laughs> buildable let's make it darker i can see myself in the mirror i don't like this color On camera, it doesn't look purple at all, but when I'm looking myself in the mirror, it's too dark. It's like too purplish and I don't, it kind of looks like this in real life, but I guess on the camera, it looks prettier for some reason. This one is not transfer proof. Oh, by the way, the Ultra Satin Lips from ColourPuff, they're not transfer proof either. Actually, there's one more thing I want to talk about. This is from Too Faced. This is their Melted Latex Liquify High Shine Lipstick. Looks like this. Packaging is cute. And this is in the shade Hopeless Romantic. Applicator looks like this. It feels like crazy sticky. And just like how it feels in the tube, this is how you will feel on your lips too. Okay. First of all, I only have like one swipe or two on my lips and I can already feel how heavy it is on my lips. This thing is crazy. So this is like a peachy nude color. I have to say it looks good on camera, kind of, I think. Not bad, but it's super heavy on my lips. Like I would never recommend this one. 
it's really uncomfortable on my lips do you see you see that it's like really sticky all right guys i gave you all my thoughts on these liquid lipsticks hopefully this video helps for you to decide whether you want to get it or not i know some of them are not the cheapest i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment which one looks the best on me thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and turn my post notifications so you get notified whenever i upload and follow me on instagram thanks for watching bye